the NBA came out today and they said, listen, we want to we want to we want to uh, be a part of this social justice movement. And we recognize it's a pivotal time. And so once we restart in the next couple of weeks, when the games finally start at the end of July, we're going to allow players to put slogans on their jerseys. And then they drop the list of approved uh, social messages. Black Lives Matter. Cool. Say their names. Whose names? Vote. Okay. I can't breathe. Still? Justice. What type of justice are we asking for? Peace. Who's asking for peace? Equality. Okay. Freedom. Who are we asking for freedom f from? Who, who, who are we asking this to? Enough. Gotcha. Power to the people. Justice now. Y'all know I don't think there can ever be justice based off what's, what's happened to black folk the, for hundreds of years. Say her name. Oh, so we get a little specific now. Not say their names, but say her name. Si se puede. I'm going to say that again because I took Spanish three times in college. Si se puede. Which means, yes, we can. We can what? Liberation. Okay. See us. Hear us. Respect us. Love us. Listen. Listen to us. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you begging white folk to see you, to hear you, to respect you, to love you, to listen, to listen to us? This respectability shit is going crazy. We've tried that. Some people still out here trying that. They putting their three-piece suits on. We're speaking properly. We're going to their institutions to get their degrees. So we can be indoctrinated into their world. So why the fuck do I need to see this on the back of a jersey? Excuse my language, I meant to say that. See us, hear us, respect us, love us, listen, listen to us. And that's why I play that James Baldwin clip at the end. Because it, it ain't about all that at this stage of the game. We take him what's rightfully ours. We gonna live here together. Or we gonna die here together. No see us, no hear me. Those who, knew, who know to see me, who want to see me and hear me, they do. I'm not asking NFL owners to see me. I'm not asking the NBA to, 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 to hear me. I'm about to go to Kutztown University. I'm not, I don't give a damn. I'm not asking you to see me or hear me. Because y'all going to feel me. Like the great ghetto philosopher Beanie Siegel said, you're going to get down and you're going to lay down. Point blank. But let's get back to it. Stand up. Ally. Anti-racist. I am a man. I am a man. Speak up. How many more? Group economics, education reform, and mentor. I'd rather just see their last names on the back of the jerseys. I'm not trying to see these messages. I'm not trying to see grown men plead 
to oppressors. Now, maybe one could argue that you're trying to encourage a community. But, bruh, I'm black too, so I already hear you. I already feel you. I already see you. I already empathize. We already done trauma bonded 500 years ago, 600 years ago. We done did that already. Who you telling I am a man to? Why do you feel compelled to tell them that you are a man? They need to feel that you are a man, that you are a person, that you are a woman. They got to feel that. How many more? Then you get mad when they give you an answer. You get mad when your president come out and start saying and spitting whatever nonsense that he does. He telling you how many more. We know how many more. We know it's going to be tens, hundreds, and thousands more. That's the game, baby. So don't give me how many more. Start telling folk no more. Or these are the consequences and repercussions. You either going to get down or you going to lay down. We either going to live here together or we going to die here together. It's as simple as that. But see, what that takes is, what that takes is something that's, that's inside. Beyond the tweets. I love what Brian do. I love how vocal he is. He's going to be a billion dollar athlete. Stop saying how many more is this say, you know what? I'm taking my ball and I'm going somewhere else. Have an imagination. You ain't got to beg. Like I tell folk when I'm, when I'm having these, these conversations on mental health, you the commodity. You the commodity. You worrying about what everybody else thinks? When you're the commodity. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me that feel that way. So no, nah, I'm not I'm not with that. I got half a mind not to even watch. <laughs>